Okay, so today I want to talk about training methods. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about, oh, what do you think about Westside? What do you think about 531? What do you think about Q method? Uh, so this is my bottom line here. Uh, I kind of touched this, touched upon this on an earlier video, uh, but if the program doesn't involve uh, the competition lifts with a normal straight barbell, 20 kilos, uh, for multiple times per week, uh, I don't endorse it. Um, I know for a fact that uh, powerlifters, the elite powerlifters from Russia, Ukraine, and Taiwan, they don't use this method, uh, any of these type of methods. Um, and again, for years, they've been produ uh, producing elite IPF champions in the open weight class. Uh, so, for example, I've been in Taiwan actually uh, twice, and I've been to the, the uh, most elite gyms in Taiwan, uh, in Kaohsiung and uh, Taizong. And I know for a fact that uh, they mainly use the uh, straight barbell for the competition lifts over and over and over. Uh, for example, the uh, multiple, I believe, four-time uh, open champion in the 60 kilo class, uh, Sei Sung Ting, uh, he told me personally that he squats uh, three times a week, deadlifts three times a week, and also benches five times a week. Uh, again, uh, I'm not saying that it's the rule in Taiwan, but uh, from what I've uh, found out, uh, uh, you know, talking to uh, different lifters, uh, they do the lifts multiple times per week with the straight barbell. And the straight barbell is all they have. Uh, so, for example, uh, when I went to uh, Taizong, uh, they have like a collegiate gym at the uh, National uh, Physical Education University and all they have there is straight bars and they have uh, some benches and uh, so, some type of squat rack. Uh, it's it's kind of like an ER rack. Uh, but that's all they have and um, they're doing the lifts over and over and over uh, but when I ask around uh, so they do the competition lifts and they may have some accessory lifts uh, so for example they all pull sumo but they may do uh, the conventional deadlift as an accessory and uh, another interesting thing I saw there is uh, about three to four weeks prior to a, a big geared competition, um, they do uh, uh, raw, really heavy box squats with uh, usually 100 plus percent uh, weights. And uh, what I was told uh, was that they uh, do this to train the uh, top end of the uh, geared squat. Um, so again, uh, it's not a replacement for the actual competition lift. It's just an accessory to what they do, and um, again, so that's that's just my personal experience. And I myself, uh, increasing the frequency of the competition lifts, uh, my lifts have gone up. Especially, I feel a lot more confident in the bench because uh, I've been bench pressing uh, recently four to five times per week. And uh, based on my performance with the 132.5 kilos that I did at the uh, com at the uh, IPF Worlds, I feel I can do a lot more. So I think that's. Uh, one of the keys to increase your bench press to uh, you know to do it uh, more often. And let me give you guys an extreme example. So I also found out that um, three elite lifters, uh, sorry, three elite bench pressers, uh, bench press specialists uh, from Japan, uh, Daiki Kodama, Yuki Fukushima, and uh, uh, Nakayama Hisayuki Nakayama. Uh, they actually bench press seven times a week with the uh, straight barbell. Uh, it's an extreme example, but. Again, their bodies have adapted to bench pressing seven times a week, and again, um, I think most American lifters they can't wrap their head head around uh, you know bench pressing uh, you know more than once a week, and I think that's a huge problem. And also, side note, uh, for example, five three one it uh, heavily endorses uh, you know um, what the uh, military press or the the uh, barbell press uh, over the shoulders, and um, it's not everyone's shoulder is anatomically designed to do a overhead press. And again, I'll detail that in an article that I'll link below um, from Eric Cressy, a really uh, smart guy uh, specializing in, in the shoulder. Uh, but again, not everyone's shoulder is anatomically designed to handle overhead press. So I think people who blindly uh, do these type of programs and uh, they don't do their own research, I think is a huge problem. And that uh, lifters have to educate themselves before they uh, delve into a powerlifting program. But again, bottom line is, uh, if the program doesn't uh, involve the competition lifts with a regular straight barbell multiple times per week, is uh, something that I do not endorse. Uh, so that's it, and thanks for watching.